Horton Jr. at the Odd Color Tire. We're racing. Hustled off into the first set of turns. Three of the fastest cars in the country going to go three wide behind your race leader. Boogie down the back straight away. Not a good corner for Bishop as he'll work back into the number four position. One lap scored. Ricky Horton Jr. leads. Working off into one and two once again. Devin Moran now up into the number two spot. Bishop back. On the hammer, working to the outside of Rocket One as they work down the back straightaway. That's for three and four. Mikey Marler going to round out your top five cars, and here comes Bobby. Bobby Pierce moving into this just behind the top five race cars. Those cars are going to go two by two by two. All outside of your top five machines. This time by, it'll be three laps scored. The book's three laps down for Ricky Thornton Jr. and behind him, we're going to work into lap traffic on the quick as we get him across the strike. Once again, four laps scored. He looks 46 to go. Devin Brand, Brandon Shepard, Hudson O'Neill, Mikey Marler. That is your top five cars. Race leader, RTK, Ricky Gordon Jr. Trouble for Tyler Bruning there. Got a little bit of concrete. He'll lose a couple of spots down the back straightaway. Now we're beating and banging with the elbows up in the 50 end of here. Elverson, trouble the 58 car I believe he's got a flat sack of the right front corner we are under caution just a flat sack he'll be paused for the night green flag waves break him off into the first set of turns Bobby with the good restart gonna roll up into the number five position trouble on the exit it's Chad Simpson pointed in the wrong direction a little bit of load and slowed and some contact concise side B. Shep will take the leftovers in the outside, and then it's heads up from there on back to the tail of the field. We get set to go. Once again, under the green flag, Ricky gonna lead us back, fires early, green flag's waving. Stampede off into the first set of turns, looking gooder than the last time. We'll break him down the back straightaway, stair-stepping three wide for the number six position. All this behind your top five as they stretch out and break away once again. Thornton, Moran, Shepard, O'Neill, and Marler, your top five. Much gooder on the restart there for Mikey Marler. A little bit of a bobble there for Brandon Shepard as he worked the cushion in the entrance of turn number one. They'll gather it together, not lose a position. Here comes Bobby. Bobby Pierce working a high line of the speedway, tiptoeing along the cushion. Yeah, tiptoeing, that's cute. Now to the bottom side through turns one and two. As we boogie down the back straightaway, your race leader out front, picking him up, putting him down once again. That's the 20RT. Surprise, surprise. But Devin Moran is within closing distance and not getting run from. Ricky Thornton, Devin Moran, Hudson O'Neill, Brandon Shepard, and Bobby Pierce. Five of the fastest in the country leading the way around the County Fairgrounds Speedway here. B. Shep and Bobby side by side. Shepard to the bottom at the Rumley Longhorn R&D machine. Bobby Pierce for the Wells Longhorn partner 32, the smooth operator. Hudson O'Neill, Lone Rocket, sandwiched between Longhorn race cars, working in the number three position. 11 laps scored this time by 39 to go. Trouble on the entrance of turn three. One turn around, caution is out. Yella, yella, yella. A little bit of contact there with the B5 and the cushion the top of turn number three. We're back under the green. And a sneak to the top side. Rocket one trying to drive off a of turn number two down the back straightaway. Side by side there with Devin Moran as we boogie in on three and four. It'll be 12 laps down this time by 12 laps down to 38 laps to go. Up here, Rocket One on the move. Hudson O'Neill moving and grooving. Ricky Thornton Jr., Hudson O'Neill, Devin Moran, Bobby Pierce, Mike Marler. Top five cars, and here comes the big firm. Dalton Wilson on the work at the bottom side of the speedway. Going to give a looky loo to the inside of Mike Marler. That's for the number five position as we work him down to the three and four side by side again. Marler to the top shelf. The Granny keeps the good stuff. Dalton Wilson will have to file in there. Now here comes Turbo, Dennis Herb, Drake Troutman, the kid. That's the mover and groover. He came out of a B main. Now up inside of the top 10 car. 
Good stuff here in the early go. Ricky Porton Jr. leads 15 laps in the books, 35 laps to go. And the race leader, it's a flat right here. Tire on your race leader, caution is out. Flat sack of the 20 yard tee, that thing took a gnarly hop. Set to go back, two by two, doubled up. On the restart, green flag it away. We're racing. Craziest part of the night going so far. We have not seen lap lead cars into lap traffic, and I thought about eight laps or 10 laps into a run, we'd see that. Luckily, we haven't had a, a 10 lap run yet. Bobby into the concrete, we're working out the straight away. Across the strike, it'll be 16 laps, scored the books and 34 to go. Hudson O'Neill, Devin Moran, Mikey Marler, Bobby Pearson, Dalton Wilson, that's your top five. This time by 17 laps, scored 33 to go. Battle on the speedway for the number three position. Marler, Pearson, Wilson, all right with Dennis Jr. the Cat Wilson, and the kid Dre Troutman. Rolling along in the seventh position and the eighth position in car number seven. Bobby with a big move down the front straightaway, looking for the baby slider. Up to the top side of the move. Now Marlow looking to cross under both cars down the back straightaway. That did not work out good for the 157. Give the position and the caution is out again. Caution, O lead Toledo. Luke Murfeld, Tyler Erb. Back to green. Good start all the way around. Moran takes him down low. Marler bounces off the wall. Bobby Pierce to second. Herb wants third. Dennis Herb Jr. on that bottom. What a surprise. Working away into the top five to the inside of Dalton Wilson for fourth. Pierce second, stalking Devin Moran for the race lead. Here's Pierce up high. What a surprise. Blair and Shepard battle. That's for sixth. Wilson and Herb side by side for fourth. 20 up. 30 to go. Devin Moran, Bobby Pierce. Three-way battle for third. Marler on the 157 trying to hold off Wilson and Herb. Herb back to fourth and 28. Now Marler on the 157 trying to get to Bobby Pierce for second as Devin Moran, who has switched track to the high side, begins to pull away. High side three and four Moran, low side one and two. And in one and two, he gets away from Pierce up high. Hudson O'Neill trying to cut back through the field in the one car, back into the top 10. Three from halfway, Bobby Pierce is catching Devin Moran. Herb trying to close in on Mike Marler for third. Brandon Shepard looking for fifth to the inside of the 18 of Wilson. Ahead of them, side by side for third. Here's Herb taking a peek to the inside of Mike Marler. Door to door for the third spot. Marler gets away up high out of four. Brandon Shepard into fifth past the 18 of Wilson. Here comes Max Blair knocking on the door for sixth and 111. With Shirley in his pocket in seventh in the 3S. Halfway next time by. Halfway next time by. The leaders are trying to get away. Moran and Pierce and Marler third with Urban fourth and Brandon Shepard fifth. Halfway this time. 25 up, 25 to go. The mailman sets the it's Moran ahead of Pierce. Marler kind of in the middle of that 157 and third. Brandon Shepard, foot in the gas, closing on Dennis Herb Jr. for fourth. They go side by side, Herb low, Shepard high. Brandon Shepard is a rocket ship up high, and he's back to fourth. Pierce to the inside for the lead in one and two, takes a look. Moran straights it up, might have caught the wall a little bit down the back straightaway. Pierce for the lead, slides it into four. Bobby Pierce takes the lead. Moran takes it back and leads at the line. Everybody closing all the leaders. Marler are rapidly closing Shepard in fourth, who wants third from Mikey Marler. Coming up on 20 to go. Here comes Pierce again for the lead. Shepard noses into fourth ahead of Herb. He'll set sail for Marler. Brandon Shepard doing it all for the top step. Herb to four tries to slam the door on Shepard. Coming up on 20 to go. Good racing. Here at the Dubuque Fairgrounds Speedway, here's Shepard on the bumper of Marler. Pierce and Moran trace each other through three and four. Brian Shirley up the sixth at 3S. Hudson O'Neill the seventh of the one. Huddy wants six down into turn three. Big dig into three. O'Neill tries to slide, Shirley no. 
Up front, they're catching Bobby Pierce for second, who's trying to keep pace with Devin Moran. 30 scored, 20 to go. Here's Pierce closing on the leader, Moran, on a turn four. Here's Shepard again trying to eye up and try to take it from Marler. They both dive into one. Pierce about eight, the wall in one. That allows Moran to get away. Field stretched out and booking around to Butte Fairgrounds Speedway. Here's Pierce in the pocket. Moran again for the lead. Moran runs middle, then to high, and it sticks Pierce up high. And he can't really dive low, not yet. 18 to go. Those lead two setting quite a pace. Devin Moran to the 99. Bobby Pierce in 32. Pierce looking to add to his bank account after Saturday's win in Deer Creek. Marler alone in third. Shepard's disposed of Herb in the fourth position. 16 to go for Devin Moran. Devin Moran, it might be his race to lose it. He looked real good in the heat. Looked good in the second heat race. And once he has gotten out front after he assumed the lead, he kept pace with both. Thornton, the early leader. And O'Neill, the next leader. And now he's set the pace for third spot in turn two. Shepard takes a look in the V5. No dice. Staying in third is Mike Marler. 14 laps to go. Pierce pushes a little out of four. That allows the 99 of Moran to get away. Third and fourth might be catching the leaders a little. Not a lot, but a little. Closing up on 10 laps to go. Pierce closes. Pierce runs three and four well. He loses ground in one and two. Moran middle. Pierce takes that shot to the bottom. He might have a run for the lead on a turn two. Moran holds it for now. Behind them at Shepard starting to work on Marler. 12 to go. A dirty dozen for Devin Moran. Now Moran again to the middle. How long can you stay in the middle till you drift? That is the question. Pierce is testing that right now. Shepard looking for third, working on Marler again into three. Brandon Shepard into third, slides it up the hill in front of Mike Marler. B. Shep to third. Moran starting to get away. Marler working on Shepard. But Brandon Shepard third, but this time by 40 lap score. Pierce slides it for the lead, 10 to go. Pierce took the lead at three and four. Moran drag racing back to the corner. Moran led it at the line. Sliding it in is Devin Moran. He takes the lead back, but he caught a little bit of the cushion on a turn two. That allows Pierce to slide it in madly. In turn three, can he keep it? He hits the cushion. Shepard's on the way in the beef. Don't count it. Brandon Shepard, nine laps to go. B. Shep got a shovel, digging on the bottom side, closing up on Pierce. Herb behind them, what's fourth from Marler? But the top three in the same family photo with 20 grand on the line, eight laps to go. Now they've settled down a little first and second, and now Shepard looks for second one on one with Pierce, who nicks it off the post, and a caution is out. Will survive the and conquer here at Dubuque. Moran, good start. Herb on the bottom might take the two for one. Pierce knocking it off the wall. Herb and Shepard side by side for third. Wilson back into the top five of the 18. Slides English, gets crossed up. Three wide room for two and a half. There's the 157 of Marler, the 96 of English. They all get crossed up. RTJ back to fifth. Wilson back to his inside. Six to go for Devin Moran. Herb the lone soul on the bottom in those top four. Pierce might have a run or two left in it for the lead, but it's going to be right at the bitter end. Here comes Bobby Pierce on the back end of Devin Moran for the lead. Moran leads him. Shepard now tests the bottom, and Brandon wants second. Five laps to go. Spinner on the ground goes Marler, and the caution is out. Mike Marler goes around on a front straightaway right in the thicket of that storm. And the caution comes out again. Yellow lights out. Five lap dash to 20 grand. Devin Moran will bring him back to green. Good start for Shepard up top. Can he keep the rubber band stretched tight? Pierce gets ahead of him. Now we're over for third on the inside of Shepard. Three deep for fifth. English in the middle. Ian Wilson exchange numbers. 
Dalton Wilson gets shook out of the laundry. Pierce going after Moran. Moran, your leader. RTJ going for fifth. Gets ahead of the 19 car. The 19 Orion Gustin who's in play for the top five all of a sudden. O'Neill driving back through the field again on the one. Unless there's another yellow, he's gonna run out of time. Shepard on the bottom, going after Pierce, going after Moran. 47 scored, three to go. Low is Moran, high is Pierce. Shepard there, so is Herb. Don't look, here comes Thornton. Thornton wants fourth. Two to go, Pierce slides it for the lead in three. New leader, Bobby Pierce. Here comes Shepard, one second. Moran losing it. I wants fourth, but Pierce beginning to sail away. Can he nab more money here in the great white north? White flag coming this time by. One to go for Bobby Pierce, who's running away. Shepard wants second. He'll die there along with Moran. Thornton up the fourth. Herb will try and hold on to fifth. Out of turn three and four. The Key City Clash at 20 grand to Bobby Pierce. Pierce wins it. Moran second right ahead of Shepard. Thornton back up the fourth.